What's up, guys? Welcome back to Table Talk. I'm your host, Jewel Simone, and today we're going to be talking about basketball. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but I actually really love basketball. You get to watch cute, tall boys show off their athleticism for like an hour and a half. I actually discovered my future husband, Blake Griffin, through basketball. So, I guess you could say that basketball is my favorite sport. Welcome back. In the spirit of basketball and our favorite sports system, the Antlers, I am dressed as my favorite basketball player, Lucas Scott. Montreal. Okay, he's not a real basketball player, but the show is the reason I started to enjoy basketball. I'm still really angry that they took that off of Netflix. Like, what the heck? Who does that? But enough of my teenage anger for cute boys being taken off of Netflix. Let's get into the show. Today I'm joined by Brad Menke, Antlers Grand Poobah, and Austin Brown, a member of the Antlers. Before we get started, let's see what Rachel can tell us about the organization. The Antlers were formed by MU students in 1976. Their goal was to make the Mizzou Arena the hardest place to play in America. Their purpose is to completely distract the other team and get them to focus on them rather than the players. All right, guys, thanks so much for being on the show today. So we just had our first basketball game. How was that game for you guys? Uh, well. <laughs> it went rougher than I thought it was going to go, but yeah, that's all right. Uh, Mark Smith, really hot that he got, uh, he's getting to play this year. So Yeah, what was so rough about the game? Uh, I mean, it, it was a lot like a Kim Anderson game to me, but you know, low scoring. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> well, so obviously you guys are the student-run student section um, that you guys go to every men's basketball game and then a select few of the girls' games. Mm -hmm. How do you guys prepare for a game? Yeah, we basically start off recruiting for the new class, and that kind of helps us prepare for the season. But for the games, we like to meet before the games, make signs. Uh, we learn the players and their past histories, stuff like that. Anything like funny, relevant, we can learn about the players. We let everyone know that's attending that game. And then we get to the game a couple hours early and get our spot, and we just kind of heckle the other team until the game starts and then we just go into our traditions and our cheerings and stuff like that. Yeah, and I actually saw that you guys have your first years, I saw on Twitter, you guys had your first years camping out in yeah. front of the Mizzou Arena yep. so that you guys could get your same spot. What is so special about that spot where you guys sit? Like what makes that the best spot in the house? Well, it, it all started back, you know, camping out started back when you actually had to camp out to get tickets. Mm -hmm. So we still, every year, new guys always camp out before the first game and then well, now we do it before Arkansas and then, you know, another game or two in the, in the season, like some big game. But uh, we have them there to get uh, – well, our spot's always been, you know, on the uh, court side, you know, first row right up on the uh, right side of the basket. But recently it hasn't been since we can't go down there past the 10th row until five minutes before the game because Zucru's taking that over. But we still have them camp out anyways. Yeah. Are we a little salty about losing our spot or are we good with the 10th row? I, I, I would like to be. Yeah. I'd like to be further <laughs> up, but whatever. I guess not much <laughs> well, we can do. Yeah, not much you can do. Um, so I know that antlers have been along for a really long time, but why do you guys think? Like, what's so special about basketball? Why basketball over any other sport? I think basketball. I mean, we still do basketball because it's tradition, and it's right. obviously that's what the antlers are for. But I, I think they basketball it started because. It's easiest to hear the crowd kind of you're closer to the floor rather than football where you'd never hear anybody from where they sit. So basketball, you're kind of it's easier to get into the game yeah. and into the atmosphere rather than other sports. That's true. That's a really good point. Um, so you guys are very intense. I know you said that you guys like to look up, you know, information about the players to yell. And it's not always extremely like appropriate things that you're yelling out. <laughs> Um, so is it like your goal to get kicked out of games? Do you want to get kicked out or do you want to kind of just like tap dance on that line? Yeah, we want to find the line. It's, it's not beneficial for us or the team for us to get kicked out. Because yeah. if we get kicked out, then there's really no one there else yelling, trying to, <laughs> trying to get in their heads, I guess. But yeah, it's definitely not our, our goal to get kicked out. Yeah. Um, since you guys have been around for so long, how do you think that you keep, you know, the antlers still like fun and fresh like for every new game? Uh, well, I, I think it's appealing to a lot of college-age kids to be able to go and, and, and yell a lot of inappropriate stuff at some other college-age kids and really have, you know, no repercussions, kind of. But I, I think it's just appealing that you can just be loud and kind of do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys oftentimes get, like, a good reaction from the crowd? Like, do you guys feed off of each we, other? Yeah, we do. Yeah. If you look up the antlers after any game, you can a lot, a lot of times people tweet about us. Yeah. And we get a lot of reaction on Twitter. 
from what we did in the game, yeah. usually. Also, speaking of your Twitter, I saw that you guys had a chance opportunity last um, year to meet the new coach, and you affectionately called him Dad. Yeah. <laughs> what does he, I mean, does he enjoy you guys? Does he think you guys are a good part of the game? Like, what's his opinion on it? I, yeah, I, I think Conzo likes us. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, uh, we always go to the Tiger Talk, you know, he has uh, every, every Monday, where, yeah. you know, they just talk about the uh, upcoming game for the week or whatever. And, you know, we've talked to him a few times there. He, he seemed to enjoy us. <laughs> I hope he likes us. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are some of your favorite chants that you have that you could maybe are appropriate to share on Table Talk today? Hmm. I know, they're like oh. slim pickings. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> that's rough. That's rough to share here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't know what to go with. Okay, well, when you're, like, trying to come up with a new chant, like, what's your process for that? Like, how do you guys, I mean, because I know you do a lot of research on the players and, like, stuff about them, so, but how do you guys, like, come up with your new chants? For new chants, we kind of, we all we have a list, and, like, we teach all the new guys the list, or the cheers, like, the first game of the season, we yeah. usually is when we teach them, and kind of the new cheers that we do is just maybe someone's like, hey, I have this idea, they share it. We might try it, and then if someone doesn't like it, we stop, or it's too inappropriate, we stop. Too inappropriate. So, yeah, kind of along those lines. So there is a such thing as too inappropriate for the Antlers? If we think, if we're kind of dancing more on that, like over the line, we think it's too much, yeah, yeah. we don't do it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the times if it's too inappropriate, some event staff will just tell us to shut up. <laughs> and then, okay, so does that happen a lot? Uh, uh, certain cheers, we try, we keep trying, and then <laughs> they keep telling us to stop. Yeah. But no, I wouldn't say it a ton. It doesn't yeah. happen as much as people would think. Yeah. Yeah, because you guys are kind of, I mean, when you think of the Antlers, you think of a group that's very out there. But you guys seem like you want to respect enough to be able to stay in the game. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you guys, I mean, you're all fans of basketball, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the thing that helps is we got a, like a list of chants that we've had for forever that we keep. So we know event staff won't say anything because they've heard it year after year. So <laughs> Yeah. So there's no, is there any like improv in the games? Like where oh, you could just, yeah. I mean, if something happens, someone could just yell out whatever they yeah, want. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of that. The, normally the improv comes before the game mm -hmm. when we're, when, you know, they're warming up and we yell at them. That's, that's normally when the improv comes in. But there's sometimes during, <laughs> during the game when it happens. Yeah. Well, so how do you guys feel like, being a part of the Antlers has enhanced your Mizzou experience. I'll let both you guys answer because I want to hear from both. All right. Well, I mean, first it, it gave me something to do. <laughs> I really don't know what I would have done. I mean, yeah. Let me, uh, you know, meet a bunch of bunch of good dudes. A bunch of my best friends. So yeah, that helped. Oh cool, yeah, that's really awesome. Cute. What about you? I would say it's definitely got me. There's something to do. Like I would have gone to the basketball games anyway, but maybe just sat there and not said anything. And I definitely made a lot of friends and learning the cheers and just learning, like, the antics that go behind the scenes that people don't know. Yeah. And I've always wanted to join the Antlers from a really young age. So that's pretty much how it enhanced my experience. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I think it helps everybody become, like, more social because you're out there in front of, you know, a couple thousand people just yelling. Yeah. People are, yeah, people, like are always, people, are usually, yeah, people are yeah. always usually, you know, looking over at us. So <laughs> help us be more social, I guess. Yeah. All right, guys, we're headed to a commercial break. And when we come back, I'll get the tea on what it really takes to be an antler. Welcome back, guys. I'm here with the Antlers, which is such a random name. Rachel, where does it come from? You probably are wondering where the name the Antlers comes from because it has nothing to do with Mizzou. It stems from the dance members used to do in which they put their thumbs to the side of their head and outstretched their fingers to resemble a deer and danced around the distra to distract the other team. In 1980, USA Today named the Antlers one of the top five fan groups in the nation. All right, guys, do you guys still do that? Like, put Antlers on your yeah, head during the demo for me. <laughs> during the just Missouri Waltz. Sure we're doing it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just throw it to the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do it during the Missouri Waltz. During the Missouri yep. Waltz at yeah. every game. Yep. yep. That's awesome. So, how long have you guys both been in the organization? Oh, we've both been in it three years. Three years. Yep. All right. 
cool. Um, and what made you guys want to join? I know you said you wanted to be in it since you were a little kid. Like, what was it about it that made you want to join? Well, my dad came here, and oh, cool. I, he talked about it a little bit. And I followed their Twitter as I was growing up, and I also saw their tweets. And I always have a love for, like, Mizzou sports. So it kind of just – I felt it was a good way – to connect to the basketball, and since I've always wanted to do it, I thought it was a good opportunity. Yeah, that's awesome. What about you? Yeah, I mean, pretty much same, except my dad didn't go here. Cool, <laughs> all right, easy peasy. <laughs> yeah. um, so how does one become an antler? Like, what's the process? Do you guys have auditions? Do you like, I mean, how do, I think I've seen you guys in speaker circle, like yelling at people, asking them to apply, but how do yeah. you apply to be an antler? Yeah, so what we do is we, like the uh, guys who are in the antlers will make up some posters and hang them around campus for people to uh, like to let the you know people who want to be in the antlers know when we're going to be in speaker circle. Mm -hmm. and then we have an application that they fill out. We just ask them you know about Mizzou basketball pretty much to see what they can answer. Right. And then after that we uh, we invite them to uh, try out for the antlers and then we ask them to do an interview where they you know answer more questions about themselves during tryouts. They uh, we put them back out in the speaker circle and we. We yell some question at them, and they have to come up with their funniest wow. answer. That's awesome. So what do you guys remember about, like, your tryout? Were you nervous, or were you just kind of, like, excited? Like, how do you remember feeling? Definitely nervous. It was kind of brought me out of my shell a little bit because you're staying in a speaker circle. There's other random people yeah. walking by, too, and they just scream stuff at you, and you have to do it, think of an answer, do something as fast as you can. Yeah. But, I mean, it sounds like it would be good practice because, I mean, if you're going to be yelling things, oops, at, um, at games in front of thousands of people, you might want to get comfortable, you know, screaming out random stuff. So yeah, that, that's the point of it. Do you feel like yeah. it really, like, prepared you to be? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it helps. And it kind of weeds out the people that it's not for them, kinda, yeah. so they just kind of don't show up after yeah. they do that that's a good initial point. part of it. Yeah. I feel like I personally would not be able to yell across speaker <laughs> circle. I don't think I would make it out for the antlers, but that's all right. Um, so is there like a set number of antlers you guys want to have every year or is it just, I mean, how uh, many? It, it's, it kind of depends. No, there's not really, like we're not really after a set number, but mm -hmm. we like to have usually like over 10. Yeah. It's usually how a good many do you guys have us. right now? In the antlers right now, I think we have somewhere around 40 something, oh, 50 wow. maybe. That's yeah. a lot. And then are you guys, like what's your guy to girl ratio? Do you guys have girls in the antlers? No. no? Have you ever had girls in the antlers? <laughs> no, it's just dudes. We've had them just try. Dudes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just didn't make the cut. Just guys being dudes in the antlers. That's all right. Yeah. Um, so I was creeping on your Twitter a lot, um, just getting prepared for this interview. And I saw a, actually I found this video on YouTube. And it was a tradition where you guys like to cut first, what do you call them, stripes? First stripes or first, what do you call first years? Yeah, they're, well, they're new guys, but yeah, they're one stripes. One stripes, yeah. yeah. You like to cut their hair a crazy yeah. kind of way. Do you guys still do that? Yep, we do, yeah. <laughs> Every year. What's the point of that? Just a funny little, like, hazing thing or? It's a tradition at this point now, too. Yeah. Yeah, we just we just got to keep that alive. We, uh, we do it before the Arkansas game every year now, the night before. Yeah. And then they wear a dress and with their hair cut to the Arkansas game. Yeah, I saw some pretty funky cuts online. Do you yeah. guys remember, like, how crazy yours were. Yeah, yeah. his was pretty yeah, bad. Mine was they, they just left the uh, like outline of my hairline. <laughs> he just had bangs all the way around. Oh Nothing my gosh. Else. <laughs> How do you explain that to like your mom or something? Like you just let her know it's part of the process? Yeah, my mom followed the Twitter too. She wasn't, <laughs> she wasn't too happy. But. That's awesome. What did they do for your haircut? Do you remember? Mine was like a messed up mohawk. So they started doing the mohawk and then they just started branching out like <laughs> limbs from the mohawk. So it was... Just kind of crazy. That's funny. Do you guys have any other like little traditions like that that you guys carry on? Uh, I mean, like besides campouts, yeah. really we have we have them do the haircuts. We have them, you know, wear dresses. For the new guys, there's really not much more. Yeah. Cool. Well, I don't know that I would be able to stomach like getting just a random crazy haircut. <laughs> so that's just another reason I'm not cool enough to be an antler. But that's fine. Um, so I know we talked about you guys don't want to get kicked out of the games. It kind of defeats your whole purpose. Are there any like rules or lines that you make a point not to cross because I know you do do research on like the players or you guys would just not cross. Yeah well we have a couple rules like you know when you're yelling something don't cuss because yeah. that's that's a big no-no. Yeah. It, you know I, nothing like uh, nothing like sexual I guess nothing just nothing stupid really. Yeah. Just be smart. Just it's, yeah it's just common stupid. sense really. Yeah. Um, so why do you think people should want to join the antlers? Like, why do you think it would be a good idea to join? Uh, well, 
I think you could look good on a job application. <laughs> <laughs> Can you elaborate on that a little bit? <laughs> no, I can't. But for real, I, I do think it helps you like really come out of your shell. It helps you. Uh, well, we think it, it helps you be funnier, but probably not. I think you guys are kind of funny. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. What about you? I think it does help you kind of bring out of your shell. You get a lot of public speaking like skills within it. Yeah. And it's just a good, good way to connect to the basketball team if you really like basketball and sports. It's a good way to like go to all the games, cheer yeah. for your team, kind of yeah. like that. That's awesome. Um, do you guys think anybody, I mean, like, what do you think people get wrong about the antlers? That, is there any like myths you want to like clear up? <laughs> that, we're, that we're just, yeah, that we're just mean to everybody. Yeah. We're not. You're not. We're not. They also think we're always inappropriate, and that's <laughs> not the case. It's not the case. Yeah, no. And then, so what's like the difference? Because I know you guys go to all the boys' games, and then like just a select few of the girls' games. What's the difference in like the climate of the games? Like, is there any difference between how you guys cheer at the girls' games, how people react to you at the girls' games? Yeah, it's different at the girls' games. Well, like before the men's games, we uh, we you know we pimp the like the uh, the opposing team. We yell stuff at them. You know, we the stuff that we found out about them, we yell that. But yeah, we don't do that at women's games. We abstain from. A lot of our inappropriate chants too. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a different atmosphere. Yeah, different atmosphere. All right, okay, guys, we're headed to commercial. But when we get back, I'm gonna put these antler speaking skills to the test. Welcome back, guys. Since the antlers have so much experience talking trash, I thought it would put those. I thought I would put those skills to the test. We're gonna split up in the teams. Brad and I versus Austin and Rachel. The team that gets through the most cards in three minutes will be crowned the champions of trash talk. The only catch is that the boys will have to say these phrases while wearing these mouthpieces. Cool. Let's get started. Brad and I go first. All right, Rachel is going to have three minutes on the clock. Let us know when we can start. Go for it. OK. All right. Uh, where did you place the parakeet? Where where did you place the parakeet? Heck yeah. Give it. Um, platypuses walk sideways. Again, please. <laughs> platypuses? Platypuses. Walk sideways. Walk sideways. Yeah. Uh, mm, Mommy. <laughs> and they are blue. What? <laughs> yeah. Skip. Skip. Okay, good. skip it. Get out of here. <clears throat> Blowing raspberries on a belly. Again, please. <laughs> Blowing? Blowing? Mm -mm. There's another letter in front of that. Blowing. Not going to get any. Skip. Not going to get any of that letter. <laughs> the horse. Oh, this is going to sound bad. The horse walked my dad. <laughs> <laughs> the horse? <laughs> what? My dad. Bucked. Yeah! Bucked my dad. <laughs> uh, curly lady boys. Curly? Uh-uh. Curly. <laughs> Burly? Mm-mm. Curly. -mm. <laughs> Whirly? I don't know. Fuzzy ferrets are better than bald eagles. Fuzzy ferrets are better than mercuses. Bald? Bald. <laughs> bald eagles. Fuzzy no. ferrets, no? Uh -uh. Bald people. Eagles. The dog. Beagles. <laughs> yeah. I probably... Can't pop balloons. I probably can't pop balloons. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Butter I red with bacon. Again, please. <laughs> Butter? Wait, you have it backwards, that's why. <laughs> no. Oh, no, you don't, okay. <laughs> Butter. Butter. My. My. Bread. Thread. Bread. What do you order? Bread. 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 Yeah. bread. <laughs> With. With. Bacon. Bacon. Yeah. Bacon. Okay. We gotta do this one. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. How much time we got, Rachel? 20 seconds. Okay, let's right. go. We got we'll it. Look at this one. Hurley. Burley. Mm -mm. Hurley. Curly. Hurley. <laughs> I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't know either. I don't. Hurley. I'll just keep yelling it. Hurley. Hurley. Mm -mm. Surly. Uh -uh. Whirly. Uh -uh. Curly. Uh -uh. Burley. Uh -uh. Merly. Uh -uh. Shirley. <laughs> There's no more. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, what was it? Please. Pearly. Pearly, Pearly baby boys. I, I would just like to also point out, I don't think the dog one should count, or I'm going to... Yeah, it should. All right. I'm nervous. Since you're the fact checker, I'm going to just go ahead and ignore that request and let it count anyway. <laughs> okay. Rachel and Austin, you guys are Disrespect up. here. Okay. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> Contemplating chasing my belly button. You are. I am contemplating chasing my belly button. Piercing. Piercing my belly button. Okay. Bosses love free donuts. Bosses love free donuts. Lee planted beautiful lady trees. Leaves planted. What? Lee. 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 <laughs> Elise. Elise. Lee. Lee. <laughs> Bears beats. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Lessie lies laid frequently. Huh? Lessie lies laid frequently. Messy lions? Lies. Lies. L <laughs> lies. I don't know what you're saying. Littering would be better. Lizard and what? Littering. Littering. Lit. Lit. <laughs> Big Hut has a nutty fanny pack. Someone has a nutty fanny pack. Big Hut. Big Hut has a nutty fanny pack. Muddy. A Muddy. Muddy fanny pack. Okay. Sugar fashion is half price. Sugar? Sugar. Fashion is half price. Something fashion is half priced. Fugle. Seagull. Fugle. <laughs> what? Yeah. Fugle. I don't know the word. Fugle. Yeah. 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 I don't know what that one is. Buzz Larky makes moldy muffins. <laughs> it was the last part moldy muffins? Yes. Okay. First part. Lola's Varaki. Lola's? Lola's. Mother's? <laughs> Lola's Varaki. Is this the name? <laughs> no. Oh god, I have no idea. Next? Yes. We'll come back to it. Turkey feet wants Hatinia pizza. Turkey feet? Turkey. Jerky. Turkey. Clerky. 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 <laughs> no. Clerky feet? Clerky. Quirky. Quirky feet? Heat. Quirky heat. Feet. Feet. Seat. Feet. <laughs> you just said seat. Sheet. A, a name. Sh Quirky seat? Sheath? Keith? Closer. Feet. Feet. Heat? Heat. Oh, oh man. <laughs> looks like that's time. <laughs> okay, how many did you guys get? Four? Okay, so we had six. So that means that we are officially the Trash Talk Champions. No Great work, people. If you want to see the antlers in their element, be sure, to, be sure to check them out at Eddie Mizzou Men's Basketball Game. Antlers, thank you so much for being on today. Thanks for tuning in to Table Talk. Till next time, I'm Jewel Simone.